Hello and welcome to the Coel channel. Now here at this channel, what we concentrate a lot on is staff safety around the remit of what we call workplace violence that incorporates many elements within that. Now, I did a video last week, a very short video, I think it was just over three minutes on a staff safety group and Organisations should consider putting groups together to look at staff safety in the remit of uh, workplace violence or lone working. And from that, we got an immense amount of response, positive response, I will add, and comments. And we also got a lot of requests to talk to them about, well, OK, then what do they think they should be talking about in the group? Well, it's easy to say, as it is in the title, incident management. But what I was explaining to a couple of uh, our new clients was that, okay, we need to isolate what that specific incident will be. If we're in retail, like I've got a new client there, uh, we talked a lot about, well, what do the staff face? Well, they face shoplifting, they face robbery, um, they face uh, difficult situations where they could be within the store um, that could be out of the line of sight of the camera and things like that. So, And what do we do if... Say, for instance, that staff member says something on the radio and alerts the rest of the colleagues that they're in a situation. But what do the rest of the colleagues do? How far do they take it? Is this a police matter, etc., etc.? So that incident management in that retail uh, area was very different than my client that I was speaking to recently about uh, hospitality in the hotels, where we talked about incident management to do with, OK, then, what do we do if we've got a guest that refuses to pay? We've got a guest that refuses to leave a room. We've got a guest that's theft. We've got a guest that's acting inappropriate. And we even brought into that, and I will be honest about it, even in the hospitality, we've had a few incidents where guests have came and there's been a degree of domestic violence and that has caused an issue for the staff but again it's that bracket of incident what do we actually do where do we stand then i've gone over to say for instance uh, housing and care or enforcement roles where i've had to look at with the incidents that have been coming in to do with uh, long working uh, our staff accountable in the sense of do we know where they are um, if they have a breakdown what do we do if they don't call in unaccountable staff what do we actually do so when i talk a lot about incident management especially to the clients and the new clients that have been ringing and getting in touch with us um have we gone down to it and that's what the safety group does that's what i was explaining about the safety group and they appreciated that and thank you for the comments and you know who you are but the thing is is that it's okay to turn around and say well we have an incident management for this and this and this and this it's but what we need to do is isolate exactly look at the reports look at the records have we got a pattern and that's what incident management is incident management is just throwing a blanket over everything and saying what do we do if we have a fire if we have a flood if we have a power failure yeah i understand that within buildings and things like that because i work with uh, uh, maintenance uh, companies what I'm looking at is that when I look at a company I specifically look at what is their exact risk that they face it's like in retail those that work with you in retail you should know you have different elements of retail where we've got grocery store to, grocery store to, to electrical stores they're all different so we have different levels of risks when it comes to theft in that element and then when you look at the staff that loan work um in the incident of that what are we looking for well are they in urban areas are they remote areas what hours are they working um what is even something as simple as i've spoke about in previous videos that people used to laugh at which okay funny all right but i used to talk a lot about mobile phone coverage and well okay we've got no mobile phone coverage in this area have we alerted other staff so if you go through the videos in the channel you might see something that you might go well actually that is something that i need to add into our group and form a group and get the feedback because if you take that safety group from my last video and you take the incidents and put them together and you think to yourself, well what can we do what if i know it's looking in the dark side sometimes and people don't like to do that people don't like to look at oh that's going to happen and what are we going to do well we'll just worry about it when it happens it doesn't work like that you have to basically think to yourselves well okay here's my strongest risk how as a company are we going to basically effectively handle that situation if it occurs and if you put systems in place like i work with companies believe it or not you not only just minimize the risk but you give staff confidence and that's one thing that we try to do a lot is give staff confidence so yeah things do happen incidents do happen there's no doubt about it but this is what you do so hopefully this little bit just a little chit chat like i always say for more information look at our linkedin page look at our website Look at our channel on YouTube and you'd be surprised what we've got on there. And I try to put out videos every week to obviously help everybody stay safe. If you need any more information, as we always say, get in touch. Thanks for watching and I hope you continue to watch our videos. And bye for now.